Council of Architecture has started a new exam called PGEPA 2024. This is the postgraduate entrance test in architecture. This exam is designed for students who are doing their bachelor's or who have completed their bachelor's and they want to get into a master's degree program in architecture. The website is pgeta.in and the information is available in the form of a brochure. Let's look at the message from the president of the Council of Architecture who has released this new exam and the exam dates have been released to be July 28th and August 4th. Now let us look at the full details of the exam which are available in the brochure. This is as per the July 2022 meeting of the council where they're discussing the minimum standards of architectural education for postgraduate degree programs. And the clause 4.1 of these guidelines provide that the candidate needs to qualify an entrance test for admission to postgraduate program in architecture, complying with admission norms prescribed in Appendix D of minimum standards of architectural education for postgraduate degree program guidelines. This is scheduled to be held twice, 28th July 2024 and 4th August 2024. It is a three hour exam and this exam, you can appear for two attempts maximum and the best score out of the attempts shall be considered for declaration of results. And this is by the way valid for period of two academic years. This is the syllabus, the link is also in the description of this video, you can also go to the Council of Architectures website. But what is important is there are four modules based on the COA minimum standards of 2020. There is architectural and design, architecture and design, which is module one. There is module two, building sciences and applied engineering. There is professional electives, which is module three. And there is professional ability and skill enhancement courses, module four. It will be multiple choice question based. It will be in English. It will be for three hours and there will be 75 MCQs for 100 marks. The best score among the tests attempted by the candidate, of course, out of the two uh, attempts that are possible in a year, it will be selected. One of them will be selected. The syllabus, information-based question 40%, experiential-based 20%, analytical-based 20%, application-based 20%. Now, this is the distribution of questions. You can have a look at it. Module 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that the first module is basically information-based. The second module, which is building sciences and applied engineering, has focused also on engineering, uh, on information. Module 3 is elective courses, which is information-based. And module 4 is also focused on information. We see that there is a experiential base the maximum is in professional course four courses and you can see total 75 marks are there in this you the eligibility is that you have to have bachelor's degree with at least 50 percent aggregate marks or equivalent cgpi you can also be a final year student who can participate in the entrance test there is no upper age limit apart from that you can look at The helpline, which is pgetaexam2024 at gmail.com. There is also a number given of the council, which is a help desk for this exam. The application procedure is in the portal pgeta.in. The process is mostly online. You can, it's through a portal. You have to use, generate username, password. And then your personal details and the document uploading and the fee payment has to be done. Then there'll be a confirmation page and there is no need to send any document by post to anywhere. Then there is this process which is given in full detail. What is the size and dimensions of the photo and the signature? The application fee is given here. Application fee for single test is different and for two test is different. You can see in the general category, 
for male it is 1750 general and obc non creamy layer and for female it is 1250 this is the fees which is given for the exam to be taken the fees is non refundable all the other details are given regarding admit card allotment of entrance test center declaration of results interpretation so uh, all the other legal details are given here there are some appendix given with respect to the timings as to what time you have to reach and what time you will have to give the exam then there is procedure to be followed you can see the procedure also given here but most important is that there are list of cities given where the exams are going to be held this is important because this is held almost all over india where people can go and sit for this exam this is a probable list as the council has given right now these are the dates 2nd july is the availability of information in the public domain then forms are starting today 3rd of july end of registration is 23rd july image upload 23rd july most things are till 20, 23rd july then the publication of downloadable admit card is 25th july date and time of entrance is 28th july publications is 30th july second test also this is the schedule which also the date is till 31st july for most things and uh, you can see that the exam is going to be on 4th of august this is the first version of this document you can go to the pgeta website for more details this is just a reading out of whatever is available in the public domain for more details please refer to the instructions from council of architecture and from the pgeta thank you